Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through the basics of painting skin weights in Maya. Manipulating skin weights in Maya is a way of telling a mesh how you want it to deform when its underlying skeleton moves. Weights are represented as a 0 to 1 value that tell the binded skin to follow a given influence by a certain percentage. There's an art to painting skin weights, and like most arts, it may be awkward at first to wrap your head around the basics, but practice makes perfect. So today, we'll get you started with painting skin weights on your first basic model, in two ways, using the Paint Skin Weights interface in Maya, as well as using the component editor. So we'll start by making a cylinder. This is just a basic shape to begin with. We'll give our cylinder a radius of 0.5 and a height of 3. Now I'll switch to the front view. And we're going to want to make a basic uh, skeleton for this cylinder. So to start, we're going to add some edge loops to our basic shape. We'll go into our Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, and how about we give our cylinder three edge loops. So now we're going to want to add some bones. And we'll add in a bone for each edge loop, so adding in a joint at each edge loop here. Just a very basic rig. And you can see the joints uh, stick uh, a little bit out from the top and the bottom of our cylinder here. So now what we now what we want to do is attach these joints to our cylinder. So we do this by selecting the joint structure, selecting the cylinder, going to skin and selecting bind skin. So now if you deselect the joints in the hierarchy, you can see that each of the joints has been colorized and they've been colorized to represent the fact that this rig is now skinned. and that they are actually affecting the overall shape of our cylinder. Now here's where we look into our, our where we introduce the, the skin, or the paint skin weights feature in Maya. So we do this by clicking skin and then paint skin weights. When we open this up, and select our joint, we can see that our entire skeleton hierarchy is here. We're going to want to select use color ramp and then because this is a simple structure we're just going to use uh, the black to white color gradient here to visualize. And now another thing to take note of when you have this painting skin weights tool open is that you can select a joint and right click hold right click and here you can see a batch of new options for selection for instance we can select by uh, the affected vertices and see our new winds or our new skin weights feature as well as uh, the vertices that are affected by this specific joint so now we have our cylinder all set up for skin painting. Automatically the weights are already set up how I'd like them to be, but by clicking down with the skin paint feature open, we can change the influence for the binded skin to follow. So when we select the cylinder, we can see 
uh, this gradient of black to white represented um, in our shape. And what this is showing us is that, uh, that influence that the weights have over the binded skin. So this is telling us how we want the, the mesh to react and deform to the underlying skeleton. So it's been said there's more than one way to skin a cat, and this gratuitous idiom is true of Maya. There's definitely more than one way to skin a cat, or skin paint a cat, or a cylinder in our case. So the next way that you can affect this influence um, and paint skin weights in Maya is by taking a look at the component editor. And we do this by opening up the component editor from our windows in general editor and then component editor. So when we select our vertices in here, let me expand this so you can see, we see all the vertices that are affected by this specific skin. And if you plan on rigging characters professionally, it's important to get used to using the component editor for setting weights as reference. Um, although this takes a little bit more time to master, the weights are balanced by default. So for instance, if I change this joint to be, or this vertex to be 0.5, you can see that joint one, joint two, joint three, joint four, and joint five all will always add up to make one and these will autofill uh, the the different values in for those variables we can also affect this by column by selecting all of our vertexes and changing this to the number that we'd like to change it to and then you can see that these other joints update alongside of it. So those are the basics behind skin painting in Maya 2020. This was a very basic introduction of skin painting. Skin painting in, vo in both the viewport versus changing joint influence through the component editor. And look, we got a cool little cylinder out of it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.